Stephen Yatu. Assemble yourselves together, be gathered together, O nation, not worthy to be loved. Before the decree, bring forth uh, the day as dust passing away. Before the uh, fierce anger of the Ishi come upon you. Before the day of the Ishi's indignation come upon you. Seek the Ishi, all ye meek of the earth, you that have wrought his judgment, seek the just, seek the meek, if by any means you may um, be hid in the day of the Ishi's indignation. For Gazi Gaze shall be destroyed. Let's look this up. Strong's age, 5804. Azah. 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 Okay. Let's see. And detained it in my more May Maymore. Where is Maymore? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that star. Almost the same colors as what the Ethiopian flag, right? Official Republic uh, Union of the Maymor, also known as. Uh, I don't want to get off topic then. That's interesting. When you look up, uh, how did, what was it pronounced? As Aza people. If it, and we went, we were searching there, and it showed the, these looking people from uh, Maymor, or Maymor, how do you pronounce it? University of Phoenix, North Carolina. All right, let's get back to <clears throat> and Ascalon shall be a desert. Strong's H eight thirty one Ashkelon Ashkelon. I don't look really get anything. And 
Oh, let's see. They shall cast out Azot, Azot, Azotus at noonday. Let's look that up. Strong's H795 Ashdod Ashdod Now that's interesting. They didn't want to give me anything when I looked up uh, Ashdod people. They just gave me some articles about um, the, the country of Israel. So I spelt it backwards and it gave me a lot more. It gave me stuff on uh, India. But it's not telling, it's not showing me the, um, the word. They're, it seems like they're giving me this right here. O D I O D I S A H. O. Let's see here. We'll open this one. Yeah, they seem to be the word that they're trying to say that I'm using. When I write it backwards, there's Odessa. That's what it seems that they, you know, was the common, because you're not seeing yeah, Ash died backwards written up here. But you keep seeing like right here, Odessa all over the place. So that might be something to look into now. I might have found something that's in because um, Google seems to understand. I don't. Um and Odessa, that sounds Greek. Like you know, cause uh, Odysseus. And Akron shall be rooted up. Strong's H sixty one thirty eight. Akron. 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 Let's see, people. What? What in the world? What in the... How can they... What? Everything else, they don't want to give me anything. When I, when I look at the people, this... <sighs> Akron shall be rooted up. How... All right, so these are the people like of what? Papua New Guinea, Solomon's Islands. So that like, all right, let's look at a map. Let's look at a map. Alright, so from what we've seen today, it's seeming like it's talking about the destruction is going to be like mostly in this area. But then it shows people that are supposed to be living on these islands over here will be rooted up. That's strange. Oh, I should have, should have kept on reading. Look at this. Woe to you that inhabit the sea coast O nation of reprobates what does reprobates mean unprincipled person often used hmm a sinner who is not of the elect. Okay. So. The word of the Ishi upon you, O Chanan, the land of the Philistines. Let's see here. Well, I want to copy first, right? Well, let's see here. 
Strong's H, 3667. Kenna Ann. Kenna Ann. Let's see, they don't spell it with the H. C H A N. Let's see what we get, though. <clears throat> That's spelled with a K. Strong's H, 3667. Kenna Ann. Kenna Ann. Don't look very much. Nothing's really standing out. So <clears throat> it keeps wanting to shorten the name. And I'll go back out to it, but I wanted to use this page before we lose it. Alright, um This is gonna be about understanding Kana real quick. Globalization has meant that surnames distribute far beyond their nation of origin, so that it can be done to find African surnames in Europe or Indian surnames in Oceania. Equivalent occurs when it comes to Kenna, which as you can corroborate, it can be stated that it's a surname which can be present in most of the countries of the globe. Just as you can find nations by which definitely the density of individuals with all the surname Kenna is more than far away. We'll skip right down here. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll do this real quick and then we'll get off of this. The likelihood of examining for a globe map about which nations hold more Kenna on the planet helps us a great deal. By placing ourselves regarding the map for a concrete nation, we are able to see the tangible amount of people using the surname Kenna, to acquire in this way the precise information of all of the Kenna that one may currently find in that nation. All this additionally helps us to comprehend not merely where the surname Kenna comes from, but also in exactly what way the folks who are initially area of the family members that bears the surname Kenna have relocated and relocated. In the same manner, you'll be able to see in which places they have settled and grown up, and that's why if Kenna is our surname. It appears interesting to which other countries for the globe it is possible this one of our ancestors once relocated to. So, Cameroon holds the most. Cameroon, then the United States, yeah, New Zealand, maybe in Nigeria. New England, or I'm sorry, England, I'm sorry, Australia, Papua New Guinea, Guinea, that's in Africa as well. So Africa holds the most of Chanan, uh, according to the Duin Bible, the Catholic version, <clears throat> who they're calling Canaan in this. Yeah, look, look. But it's still not telling you the connection. So I just thought that was interesting. I wanted to hold on to that before we got off because as we go back out, you'll see that <clears throat> I searched for, I, sh you know, I took out most of the uh, uh, the punctuation in between and they shortened uh, the name to uh, Ch um, Chenin in there and it's saying those people are mostly of Cameroon. 
and now uh, people in the United States. And apparently they look like this. And here we have the Philistines of the Philistines. Let's go ahead. Strong's H, 6430. Pelish T. Pelish T. Pelish T. Now here's what here's gonna here, watch this. This is gonna be interesting. Watch this. Oh, I think oh shit. So you take Pelish D and you look it up, right? And you put up people. And this is interesting because they didn't do this when I've looked up Philistines or Pelishtines. Pelish D before. But they're trying to give you Polish people. But you know that's just way off. That's way off. So what you do is you look up Pelish D backwards. Now, Google's got to be messing with me. Because before, it brought up all these people from China and um, <clears throat> the Koreas looking people and their, uh, their TikTok pages and Instagram names. Because that's where I had seen that there was a few females that had the name. And I'm like, how did they get this name? Especially if you look it up backwards. How did they fall into this name? Now that's and before when you looked it up when I looked up Palest Palest uh, was it the the Philistines <coughs> from um, was it called the uh, Blue Letter Bible and the, the the name that they give you the Palesti or however you pronounce it they never gave you the Polish so now they're covering their tracks right they're giving me Polish people which you know is way off and now what they originally showed me when you looked it up backwards is now gone. See there, they gave me they gave me stuff that looked like this, but it wasn't from New Zealand. No, it wasn't from New Zealand. That's crazy, because I was like, oh, we found them. But then I started second guessing myself. Oh, that's crazy. People of PA, the House of Shem. Oh. Yeah, they're not they're not the right ones. Nope. And I will destroy thee, so that there shall not be an in, an inhabit inhabitants. And the sea coast shall be the uh, shall be the rising place. Um, place of shepherds and folds for cattle. <sighs> and it shall be the portion of him that shall remain of the house of Judah. There they shall feed and the houses of Ashkelon they shall rest in the evening because the Ishi their Elohim or Elo, yeah, Elohim will visit them and bring back their captivity. So, the coastline of what looks to be was it India, uh, Thailand, all that is going to be wiped out in this destruction. They're the people, right? I've heard the reproach of Moab and the blasphemous of the children of Ammon with which they reproach my people and have magnified themselves upon their borders. Wherefore, as I live, saith the Ishi of host, the Elohim of Israel. <clears throat> it's always hard for me to pronounce that. I don't know why. Moab shall be as Sodom, and the children of Ammon as 
even more. Don't want to. Gamora. Gamora. The dryness of thorns and heaps of salt in a desert, even forever, the remnant of my people shall make a spoil of them. And the residue of my nation shall possess them. This sh shall befall them for their pride. Mm. Because they have blasphemed and have been magnified against the people of the Ishi of host. The Ishi shall be terrible upon them and shall consume all the gods of the earth and they shall adore him forever for, for every man from his own place all the islands of the Gentiles. <clears throat> Let me slide this up here. You, Ethiopians, also shall be slain by the sword. Now that's interesting, right? Because isn't Ethiopia one of the... I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm saying they're supposed to be one of the, what, the, 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 the ten nations that come against the Israel... In the book of Ezekiel. And you shall stretch out your hands upon the north. There. <laughs> See, I just keep my mouth shut sometimes. And will and will destroy Assyria. And you will make the beautiful city a wilderness in a place not passable and as a desert and flocks shall lie down in the midst thereof all the beasts of the nations and the bitter and the merchant shall lodge in these these hold these hold thereof the voice of the singing bird in the window, the raven on the upper post, for I will consume her strength. This is the glorious city that dwelt in security, that said in her heart, I am and there is none beside, beside me. How is she become a desert, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passeth by her shall hiss and wag their head. So that was pretty fun. <laughs>